Welcome to Music Time with Mr. Kel, kiddos. It's the first of many, many of these throughout the year. I think Fridays are now uh, Fine Art Fridays, part of the time. We have art with Mrs. Helfer. We have chapel in the morning. We have music in the afternoon. It's like it's like good, day. good stuff going on on Fridays here at the old schoolhouse. Uh, today I have a guest. I'm going to try to have guests often. Today uh, is Sophia Moore, who's one of my ex-students. And actually still kind of my student because we work together about... Uh, dealing with her music uh, future and stuff. Thanks for joining us, Sophia. Thank you for having me. Yeah, this is great. The only thing is I play these tricks on Sophia where she doesn't know any of the songs mm -hmm. that we're about to do, but <laughs> but it doesn't really matter uh, because she picks them up quickly. I thought we'd start with the cheeseburger song because neither of us really know that. But uh, I wrote a cheeseburger song, uh, Sophia, actually by request. I had all these students that would always say, could you write a bamboo, uh, you know, like a, a baboon <laughs> song? I go, I'm not writing a baboon song. And then finally they narrowed it down to a cheeseburger, cheeseburger song. And I thought, well, yeah, I should write a cheeseburger song because, you know, you'd realize that I could be a vegetarian if it weren't for cheeseburgers. I get Seriously. that, yeah. yeah. Like I could, you know, not that there's anything wrong with other stuff, but I could probably pass on steak and stuff, but a cheeseburger, man, every now and then, there's just, there's nothing mm -hmm. better. It's like, you know, it's like all day long, you kind of think about it, you know, it's like, and then you have it and you, you oh man. And then you're fine for a while, you're fine for a while. <laughs> and then it comes, <laughs> it comes back. I started thinking, well, maybe if I just don't have fries, but then having a cheeseburger without fries is some sort of, torture test it's like yeah. some sort of survival test like well, also, can you if do... you're gonna indulge yeah that's true Go full. by the way do you know that they don't have french fries in france no I know. they're called pommes frites which means french fries <laughs> <laughs> so anyway welcome to my new office look at this i have got a new office here at the old schoolhouse sophia look at this i know it's so exciting We're surrounded by guitars and ukuleles and banjos and bass guitars and, and mandolins and... yeah it's so awesome we got little kids we got a pink uh guitar for one of my one of my uh young girl students gave me that Love it. it's really cool um so uh, we thought that we would film these these uh, videos, videos mm -hmm. in, in, in the, uh, the new uh, roomy Mr. Cobbs. Also, I have to tell you, I do have a bandage on here, and we're giving a prize away at the end of the session okay. for anyone who can guess what uh, actually happened that I would need such a ghoulish looking band aid yeah. on my arm. It's so uh, clearly visible. I don't even think it qualifies as a band aid. No, it's, it's like gauze some, and tape. It's gauze and tape, gauze and tape which you know is going to involve pain at some point. <laughs> <laughs> the removal, the painful removal of gauze and tape. Gauze and tape sounds like a comedy duo from the 50s. <laughs> and now for one night, <laughs> it's Bill Gauze and Danny Tape. Here we go, bring him out. Here we go. Here we go. Well, I woke up this morning and all day long all I ever do is sing the cheeseburger song. Man, I love cheeseburgers. I wish I had a cheeseburger. I wish I had a cheeseburger every day when the lunch bell rang. Ron Key, let's do the ski. Well, I woke up this morning and all day long. Much better, right? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. When I woke up this morning and all day long, all I ever do is sing the cheeseburger song. Man, I love cheeseburgers. Oh, I love cheeseburgers. I wish I had a cheeseburger every day when I'm much away. There's really nothing better in the whole wide world. They're as good for the boys as they are for the girls. Man, I love cheeseburgers. You too? Oh, I love cheeseburgers. I wish I had a cheeseburger every day when the lunch bell rings. This is the best part. Burger King, Carl's Jr., Jack in the Box. The taco makes a double that really rocks. In and out, Wendy's, McDonald's, too. They sell them in the park. They sell them at the zoo. I wish I had a cheeseburger every day when the lunch bell rings. 
Dairy Queen makes them so does Frisco Freeze. Tommy's, Tommy's covers them with chili and a little white sleeve. I love cheeseburgers. How I love cheeseburgers. I wish I had a cheeseburger every day with a lunch bell ring. Oh, we're not done. We try to name all of them in the Long Beach, the greater Long Beach area. Volcano Burgers, John's on Spring, it doesn't matter where you get them, it's the same old thing. We love cheeseburgers. I love cheeseburgers. I wish I had a cheeseburger every day when the lunch bell rings. I request, I request a cheeseburger song. All right, let's do the next one. I think this one is Fish School. Um, when I, when I wrote Fish School, I was thinking that it might be cool to sing a song from the fish's viewpoint. Because nobody thinks about the fish and you just no. yank them out of the water. No. Like, they could be swimming home from work. They could have been. You know, like, they going home to see their kids, and boom, gone. And they're like, what happened to Dad? Uh, I don't know, I think he was yanked to the surface by that, <laughs> by that hook man. By the, the mystery worm. The mysterious worm. Right? And I've always wondered about uh, the worm thing, too. Because the worm thing, if you think about it, Sophia, it makes no sense. Fish never get worms. There's no worms swimming around in the ocean or in, but you drop a worm in there, boom, they're on it. It's like the one time in their life they get a worm. It's like, it's not really a worm, it's a trick. I feel bad. So I thought I should write a, 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 a song called Fish School where the, the fish go to school to learn about not no, getting caught. That. Exactly. Um. If my guitar's a little out of tune, it's only because these songs sound a little better if the guitar's out of tune. Okay. If I were a fish, I'd live in the ocean. It'd be salt water for me. I'd spend my day swimming round and round, just exploring the deep blue sea. Avoiding sharks and fishermen would be my one concern. It's the only thing they teach in school. It's what every fish must learn. Chorus. Fish school. We're all going to fish school. It's Fish Survival 101. You learn about hooks and nets. Nice. Fish school. We're all going to fish school. You must be getting A's and B's if they haven't caught you yet. Nice. If you see a worm, don't bite it. I love that. That's good advice. That is some good advice right there. That goes really well. It does. <laughs> if you see a worm, don't bite it. Worms don't just hang in the air. Have you ever seen a dog try to eat a worm? They, they go to eat them and they're like, oh my gosh, oh, and they spit it out, you know? Then it goes like, yeah, and then the worm is like, what happened, you know? And then they do it again. And they do it again, they do it again. So I think maybe I was wrong. Maybe it does taste good. And it never tastes good. If you see a worm, don't bite it. Worms don't just float in the air. Oh, yeah, hang it here. Hang it here. If you see a shark, don't fight it. It'll eat you and it just won't care. And what's up with sharks? Like, they have like three rows of teeth. Like, no other animal has like three rows of teeth. No, I think it's an unfair advantage. It is. Like, they have like, it's it's as though they're made just to bite things. It's like, you think, you think pit bulls would have a couple rows of teeth. I don't know. Maybe they do. If you see a worm, don't bite it. Worms don't just float in the air. If you see a shark, don't fight it. They can eat you and they just won't care. And those humans all love seafood. It doesn't matter what kind of fish. You can end up like your grandpa did. Playing sideways on a restaurant dish. Oh, that's just sad. Fish school. We're all going to fish school. It's Fish Survival 101, we learn about hooks and nets. Fish school, we're all going to fish school. You must be getting A's and B's if they haven't caught you yet. Last verse. There's a coral reef and an island where you can hear the music play. The sound of a barracuda band backed up by dolphin spray. The life of a fish can be a good one if you don't become a fish fillet. Because you know those sandwiches, those fish fillets were once swimming in the ocean.
Avoiding mess and hooks and such And swimming around all day Everybody! Fish school We're all going to fish school It's Fish Survival 101 We learn about hooks and nets Fish school We're all going to fish school You must be getting A's and B's If they haven't caught you yet if they haven't caught you yet, fish go, fish go, fish go, fish go, fish go. Extra. It's actually supposed to be three. I did four. You did four. Yeah. Well, you know. Uh, one more. One more song. Uh, let's see. What should we do? Let's do. Oh, Leo. Leo. I Leo. I had a request for uh, by a, a second grader, a little cute little second grade girl, in uh, uh, Mrs. Van Dyke's class, and she said, Mr. Pill, I have a little turtle named Leo. And it could sure use a song. And I thought, oh man, a turtle named Leo, isn't that a name for a lion? And she said, no, it's my turtle's name. <laughs> like, it's not a lion. I said, well, Leo the lion. And she was just, <laughs> she's like, no, my turtle's name is Leo. So I thought, well, that reason enough right there to write a, 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 a song. Yeah, so it's, it kind of goes like this. It actually goes exactly like this. Okay, I'm excited to hear. People never think about turtles. They're impossibly hard to find. They'll hide for just about any reason. That's even true about mine. He's the only turtle in the household. So I guess he's bound to be shy. But it only takes a leaf of lettuce to get him out into the clear blue sky. His name is Leo. We call him Leo. You might think that's the name for a lion, but it seems to fit him just fine. His name is Leo. We call him Leo. You can call him the coolest turtle in our town, but I just call him mine. Oh man, very touching, you know what I mean? Leo's got a load to carry. It's with him everywhere he goes. His house is like a mobile home. It's bigger every time he grows. It must have the perfect reception for every turtle channel in town. Cause when his favorite shows are on the TV, you won't see Leo around. Like Ninja Turtles, that, you know, Teenage Ninja Turtles is his favorite show. Oh, so yeah. he's always watching that. Yeah, those guys are his heroes. Oh. His name is Leo. We call him Leo. You might think that's a name for a lion, but it seems to fit him just fine. His name is Leo. We call him Leo. You can call him the coolest turtle in our town, but I just call him mine. I just call him mine. Fine. Leo. Really great. That was great. Sophia, thanks for joining us this week. This was great. I'm so glad I could come. Man, I wish you were here in uh, elementary school. Uh, Sophia came uh, to, to LCS in middle school. I did. And, and uh, started singing with uh, in my choir right away. And um, really cool to have you here. So thanks mm -hmm. for joining us. Of course. And we will see you next week at the Old School House. Goodbye. Bye.